it's a long career. I started in uh, 1985, so that was ages ago. <laughs> and among other places, I've been to Brussels for a permanent representation to the EU in Brussels, uh, to London and to Morocco. And before coming here, I, uh, I was dealing with uh, uh, Southeast uh, European countries uh, back in our ministry in Madrid. Yeah, I arrived here in, uh, in September 2014. So a little bit more than two years, yeah. Well, the bilateral relations between our two countries are, are excellent. We, we, uh, we established uh, diplomatic relations in, uh, back in uh, 1994. Uh, so we, we, uh, we've had bilateral diplomatic relations for tw nearly 23 years now. Uh, just when I arrived here, we celebrated uh, the uh, 20th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. Uh, and uh, with, uh, during, within these years, uh, we have given them content uh, in many fields, uh, political, uh, diplomatic, economic, trade relations, tourism, educational, uh, etc. Well, the great advantage, there's no, no, no single issue, really. Uh, uh, the greatest mandate I have uh, from my authorities is to strengthen uh, the bilateral relations in, in every field. Uh, and this is what I try to do every day. Uh, uh, besides, that is uh, uh, a pleasure for me uh, being here in this country uh, and uh, have been uh, uh, mandated uh, to, to do this, uh, this work. <laughs> uh, they want to come and some of them are here. Uh, I think that we are lucky that we have uh, representations of the top companies, uh, Spanish companies in this country uh, that are here in uh, many different fields. Now we have uh, a company called Rubao uh, that is uh, building uh, a part of the motorway of the Corridor 10 in Cavadar near Cavadarci. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have many others. We, we have uh, FCC, which is a huge uh, Spanish multinational country that is uh, present in uh, more than 30 countries uh, and is here in, in projects of basically uh, water management. Uh, and we have many others. We have uh, TIPSA, EPTISA, uh, IDOM, which is working for engineering projects in the uh, capital, in Skopje. Uh, but we have many others. We have uh, in, 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 in many fields, uh, and I'm sure that there is uh, a scope for, for increasing the presence here. Uh, we'll have uh, INDRA, uh, that has worked with the Ministry of Defense. Uh, we have SEAT, uh, that is selling automobiles. Uh, many, many companies. Uh, and, and I'm sure that the scope uh, for increasing the presence here is very good because the, uh, the speciality of our companies, I think, that uh, fits very well in what this country needs uh, for its future development, which is uh, engineering, public works, uh, but also the environment uh, and uh, tourism, in which we are uh, supposedly very strong. I think that this is a young country full of energy uh, and full of possibilities. And I think uh, that my message would be that this is a, a European country, not only uh, geographically, but definitely uh, for Spain that is in the far uh, west uh, opposite side of Europe. Uh, we feel close uh, to this country and to the Macedonian people because we feel that we belong to the same European family. And as I said, this is not only a European country, from the geographic point of view, it is a country that is uh, affectionately for us European. Uh, Spain has always supported uh, the Euro-Atlantic perspective of this country. Uh, and the main mission uh, of this embassy and uh, of myself uh, is to help and to encourage uh, the necessary reforms in this country so that the uh, uh, European path is, uh, is, uh, is done and this country will move forward closer and closer uh, to the uh, full accession to the EU and NATO.